easier way for the president to get to what's being dubbed his winter White House. WPTV News Channel 5's Tori Dunnan has new information on a helipad in the offing for President Trump's Palm Beach property, Tori. Michael, the town's Landmarks Preservation Commission unanimously approved plans to allow construction of a helipad on Mar-a-Lago's property so that the president could fly from Palm Beach International to his house. So there's a motion on the floor and it's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. Approval for a 50-foot concrete helipad on Mar-a-Lago's property. As simple as possible, there will be no fuel tank, no lights, located near a service road, all for visual reasons. The goal is that the lawn location won't impact historic structures on the property. I've worked on that property for 22 years. When I saw the drawings from the Marines, I said it's the most logical, most perfect location. It's the safest spot. It's away from the historic easement, which is an important element of the town and the National Trust. But at today's meeting, an attorney for a Mar-a-Lago neighbor voiced opposition to the plan, saying it would be disruptive. As she looks out her window when the president is here and people with guns on boats have those guns trained on her house. So we urge you to please consider this. One of the commission members questioned why the helipad couldn't be grass like at the White House. The reason given by White House representatives is that Marine One pilots are not as familiar with the area. Another plan of putting the helipad in the ocean instead came up as well, but the architect says... This is the only one that works, yes. He says they will have to apply for permits, then once approved, it will be about a month before construction starts. I think that to deny the president a helipad makes no sense, and if the decibel levels worry people in all these different helicopters, one area isn't going to be impacted. So one of the conditions for this helipad is that it has to be removed at the end of President Trump's presidency. Tori Dunn, WPTV News Channel 5. And